Welcome back to another video. This is going to be another one of those like things where I talk about things that bug me on eBay. Um, we're going to be talking about uh, resellers and more specifically people who flip cards. And again, you can go even more specific, which I will. People who buy cards at auctions, which generally go less than buy it now so people who buy cards at auction and then just try to sell them again at buy it now like the next day for a crazy premium um, there's a difference between people who do what I just stated and those who let's say buy a card that's worth a hundred dollars for twenty dollars maybe they see it listed and they get lucky and they get it for twenty dollars and then they go ahead and sell it for a hundred dollars they're not affecting the market price of a hundred dollars in any way they just happen to get lucky and get a quick sale. There's nothing wrong with the latter, but the former, those who just buy cards and, and create that auction listing price and then try to go and resell it for a crazy premium, that's the problem. That's what bugs me. There are these people who think that there is a deficiency in the market in that way. They're trying to create capital where there really isn't any capital to create. A lot of these cards get a lot of visibility they they've been listed for seven to ten days sometimes the people who want to buy these cards see them and so when these cards sell at auction that is what the the price should be um, so when someone goes and tries to go, sell it for three hundred dollars more it doesn't make any sense so the people who think there's that deficiency or there's that um, room to make a lot of money it's just not there and it's stupid and it affects the market in a negative way and we're gonna try to expose some of those people we're gonna tell it I'm gonna tell you what you should look for and the purpose of the video is to try to get even just one person to not buy cards from these flippers don't give them the business don't care how much you want the card don't buy it from them buy it from somebody else because I don't like people supporting this. It, it, the more that you support and you buy from these sellers, the more that they're going to think that, oh, this is a great thing to do. This is awesome. No. The people who do this don't care about the hobby. They just want to try to make money out of it, um, where oftentimes that is not how to how you do it. Um, and I don't care if this is your, your full-time business. If, if your full-time business is flipping cards, well then, too damn bad. I don't care if I'm affecting your business in any way. If you're going to do shady shit like this, I'm going to call your ass out. All right. So yes, I will be using names, and, and I will show you their eBay, and I will show you how to check to see if they're buying a car or what they're selling for to try to not give them your business. Don't do it. All right. First thing we're going to look at is um, something that was given to me by Pale Rider. Shout out to him. He always finds the best shit for me to talk about. He's the guy who uh, uh, gave me the uh, conversation he had with Yu-Gi-Oh! Empire and gave me all that fun, fun content. So we're going to look at this. This is a PSA 1 Wavy Blue Eyes. Okay, it is wavy. A lot of times people don't get wavy right. Um, sold at auction July 12th for $610. Now this card, as you can see, is destroyed. You've got creases on the sides. You've got two creases on the sides. The corners are bent and whitening. That corner up to the top left is in terrible condition. Um, and they, they, we have a lot of other images. Let's look. I mean, really, really bad shape. But it is an LOB Blue Eyes. And um, LOB Blue Eyes, being the king of the Yu-Gi-Oh, basically, is going to sell for a lot of money. It doesn't matter the condition. The back is disgusting. I mean, look at these edges and corners. The corners are like rounded off. This looks like maybe it has some kind of water damage on it. You got peeling on the surface there. Heavy, heavy whitening. The card is in awful condition. Now, my first problem with this is the fact that it sold for $600. Now, I don't follow LOB Blue Eyes that much, but is this what played copies, like damaged copies? Not even heavily played, but damaged copies are selling for $600? Is that true? I don't know. It seems like, in, it, to me, like this card, uh, how would anyone pay $600 for this just destroyed junk? I mean, 
it's such bad, bad shape. I feel like for $1,000, if you saved up for $1,000, you could get a light play copy or a decent copy. But again, I don't know. I don't follow it. So let's look at this here. Um, it looks like there were quite a few people willing to spend quite a bit of money. Um, he started it at a dollar, and he had this guy at 208 feedback, 647. Wow, we're gonna we're we're gonna see that number in a little bit here. Um, so it looks like there were three people up to about four hundred dollars, and then these two guys pushed it to six hundred. Um, so if if this forty four wasn't bidding, it would have sold for six hundred. I don't know if this fifteen here is legitimate, based on seeing them push and push the price up like this. It feels like these are not legitimate bids. When you see somebody doing something like this, like, oh, 470, 500, 600, those are, are generally not real bids. Those are kind of like emotional bids, and I, I got the feeling this person wouldn't have paid at 600. So I feel like right here at about 400 is where the card would be, but this person at 44 came in and bought it for $610. Let's look at the bid times here. So... Um, it looks like what happened was um, at the at 11 four. Oh, okay, I see. So at the very end of the auction, this person bid 600, and this 44 guy probably had it over, I don't know, $700 or something. But okay, so we see this. Let's look at the cert number. Um, ends in 078. So we'll go over here to. No. By the way, look at this card. PSA 10 SDK Blue Eyes are at 4000 with three days left. 103 watchers. It's nuts. $35 shipping because of insurance. Look at that bottom corner and give me your opinion. It looks like it's crushed or pushed in, damaged somehow. It looks a little sketchy. Um, I lost it. Let's see if we can find it. So again, the certification number ends in 078. Uh, here it is. Let's see. Oh, look, it ends in 078. Is it the same card? It sure is. Look, the busted corner. I mean, you just look at the certification number. The crease is in the same place. And he even provided us a, um, a pop report. Pour 1 is a PSA 7 with 322 cards graded higher lowest PSA grade as if that's some sort of appealing thing that yes I only collect the lowest PSA grades guy wants five grand or best offer with eight dollars shipping wow he wants five thousand dollars and I still have to fucking pay shipping how about that let's see what he says holy grail of Yu-Gi-Oh of any collection there are only seven in the world and who knows how many out there are wavy really he's really trying to sell this so um, when was this listed? So, September 1st. So he's had it up for about a month. Five grand for a PSA 1. I mean, I, I like to think that people have the um, foresight to go and look at sold listings and see that this card sold for $600 and that the guy who bought it was someone who's trying to resell it. So the fact that he paid 600 means that it's worth less than 600 so this guy is going to be stuck with this PSA 1 for God knows how long. And maybe that's fine with him. Maybe he's totally fine with keeping this card. But, you know, maybe if someone comes along and offers him $1,200, he'll, he'll sell it. Um, I don't know why anyone would do that. I, don't, I couldn't see why anyone would buy this card for $1,200. It seems for $600, that was crazy expensive. And, you know, that's probably what... It, it would normally sell for if someone wants to keep it. So again, this is a person, this is an example of how you kind of see these things. You know, when you're going to buy these high-end cards, I, I, I think most people already know to do their own basic research. Look at sold listings. Talk to people. You know, there's a lot of knowledgeable people in this hobby who kind of have an idea of what cards have sold for in the past, um, even if they're not there's not that much sales data because a lot of these cards don't trade hands often so there's not a lot of sales data on eBay so it's not obvious so talking to people um, and, and just doing your research you can kind of get an idea of what a card should sell for 
$5,000 is out of his mind. I think you can get a PSA 9 for that. So it's just it's just stupid. It's just a stupid waste of money. This guy just wasted 600 bucks. I mean, I, I can't imagine how long it would take him to get $1,000 out of this card. It could be years. Maybe that's fine with him. All right, so that's, you know, this is a, a kind of a one-case kind of thing. This person doesn't have any other items for sale. Um, maybe it's their maybe it's their like alt account and they have other accounts who knows um, but we're gonna look at a seller here who has been doing this for a long time and there's a lot of sellers who come and go this is not something that is new to any of these hobbies it's not new to magic to Pokemon to Yu-Gi-Oh people come and go people think that they can short this stuff and they can just buy whatever they want at market price and flip it tomorrow for an extra two hundred dollars Watch watch Rudy from Alpha Investments. Watch SM Pratt. This is not a short-term game. LOB came out in 2002. That's going on 19 years ago. It's taken 19 years for these cards to reach the prices that they have. It is not a quick game, despite what the market has been doing in the last couple months. Um, it, it's been, for the most part, cooling off. Um, you can see that with Ghost Rares and some ultimates a lot of cards are still sky high high-end stuff generally stays high up there but for the most part the market has been cooling off so let's look at a card here so september 21st which was four days ago a a bgs 95 basic 95 three 9.5s and a 9 sold for $340 at auction. 17 bids. Um, it looks like after $300, it was just two guys. This guy with 647 feedback and this guy with 11 feedback. Now, I told you that 647 was going to come into play. It came into play here. This is the same seller who is going to buy this um, PSA 1 Blue Eyes. For three hundred eighty-six dollars, um, so this six forty-seven person sold the or bought this card for three hundred and forty dollars. In fact, at the very end here, he increased his max bid over three hundred and forty dollars. Maybe it was three hundred forty, or maybe it's three fifty, and he put it to four hundred. So he was pushing this card high, and this eleven guy, who knows? Maybe this is someone who gen genuinely wanted the card, but there's not a lot of interest in this card. Look, you've got one guy at eight. You've got 46, 11, and you've got the reseller. And you actually have another one. So you've got four people really trying to get this card. And only one, how many over 200? One. Only two people are willing to spend over $200 for this card. And who knows, they could be resellers as well. So there's not a whole lot of interest in this card. And I mean, that's obvious anyways. Gemini Elf is not a triple a lob card anyways i mean people don't gun for mystical elf especially in basic bgs 95 it's not even a quad so 340 dollars is what this card sold for four days ago let's fast forward to a couple days later and um well we got to look at the cert number it ends in 367 here is popped up again on the market 367 uh you're gonna say oh it's the same seller um, Igmatic Paradox and this guy Yu-Gi-Oh! Attic 647, that's where that number comes from so this guy bought it for $340 and four days later he's trying to get 600 out of it not even Oba, um, best offer $595 plus $5 shipping he won't even give me free shipping Honestly, it looks like it's the same fucking picture as well. The guy didn't even bother using a different picture. He just said, oh, I'll just use the same. It's the same picture. It's the same world qualifier mat. He literally just pulled the same pictures off. I mean, how, how awful is this? This is the cancer of eBay. You know, I know people talk about, like, mystery boxes and you know stuff like that but this is the true cancer of ebay the, sh the people that affect the price in this way now again like i said earlier i i think most people who buy these kind of cards have the foresight to um 
look at sold listings and to do some research. So I think generally most people are going to see, oh, look, one sold three days ago for $400. Same cert number. The dude's just clearly trying to resell it to make a quick buck. It's not going to happen. It's not. This guy is going, this guy is buying up so much fucking product. And you know what? We see it time and time again. People come and go. They just think, oh man, I can just buy this up and sell it tomorrow for an extra whatever amount of money. He's in this listing too. 50 bids. This is a little bit different. This is wavy. There's more interest in wavy. So right now, above 600 Canadian, there's only one person interested in buying this card. Only one. What does that tell you? That tells you that there's not a whole lot of interest, right? Now, if you go down here to like two, 300, yeah, you've got quite a few people. You got 149, 20, you've got three, this guy, 16. You got a lot of people interested at kind of the 200, $300 mark. What does that tell you? That tells you that's probably where the price should be. Um, now, again, I don't know what this 1995 guy is doing. I don't know if he's a reseller as well if, or if he just wants the card. But we already know 647 is going to resell this card. So this guy doesn't actually want this card to keep. He just wants to resell it. This 800 Canadian is $600 for Wavy Quad Mystical Elf. That's a lot of money, right? And this is at auction. This is from Petty Party. People know this guy. People are going to be able to see this listing. 36 watchers. How are you going to buy this card and and think you're going to be able to sell it tomorrow? Let's say he buys it for six hundred. How are you? How do you think you're going to sell this card for what eight hundred dollars tomorrow? How stupid can you be? That is the stupidest thing I've ever seen. I mean, it, I, I don't even know what to say. It's just incredibly stupid and naive, and, and just really irresponsible to think th this shit's going to work. Um. All right, so so we've seen this 647 guy. Let's go back and let's look at his items. So you can kind of just assume, um, I mean, you can assume based on the, the cards he has. He's got some cards that are graded by BGS that don't have subgrades. He's got some PSA stuff. He's got some, some BGS cards with subgrades on it, I think. I mean, clearly this guy's just buying up whatever he can find and just flipping this shit, right? And he's got tons and tons of listings. And, and, and it's not even like he's buying really high-end valuable stuff. I mean, this stuff is trash. You've got like PSA, you got a PSA 1, you've got um, like PSA 9, PSA, uh, BGS 8.5, PSA 8 of trash cards nobody cares about. People don't care about these cards, you know, in this condition. Some of these cards, obviously, but like, who, who's going to buy this? A PSA 10? Then in the Great Sphinx, the movie card that there are literally billions of, nah. who's gonna buy that? PSA 10 Spear Dragon, no one cares. 8.5 Man Eater Bug. I mean, if he was doing this with high end stuff, it could make sense because those high end buyers generally just pay whatever you know high end prices. You know, they're willing to pay those premiums for those really high end quality cards. But these cards, nobody gives a shit about them. Um, I didn't mean to select that. I want to look at his sold listings. Let's see what kind of cash flow he has. All right, um, PSA 5, someone bought $95. I'm eating my words here. Someone actually paid that. Uh, that was yesterday, uh, September 24th, September 24th. It's 200, $400, $400 yesterday? Okay. And then the 23rd, you've got 100 300 so he's definitely moving some product. September 19th, he sold 235 and 195 I mean, but you got to think um, profit margin, right? So he's got to pay for these cards. It's not like he's buying these cards for free or finding them in the trash can. He's got to pay. You know, if he pays 100 if he sells this card for 195 he may have to spend $150 for it. You got to ship it. You got to pay eBay fees. At the end of the day, you might make $20 on this card. Especially if this shit goes at auction. Um, PSA 10, 125, 550. I mean, you know, this guy is not selling at volume enough to justify this as being a full time business. Maybe it is his full time gig, or maybe he's trying to get into it. Guess what? If you're watching this video, man, it's not sustainable. We've seen it come and go. We've seen idiots like this try to. Um, create value where there's really no value to create to, to inflate prices 
I mean, the point is, the point is, if you see this person, Yu-Gi-Oh! Attic, don't buy anything from him. Stay away from him, man. Do not support this kind of business practice. Wait for another listing to show up, you know, um, and 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 look at look at who's bidding on these cards. You know, if you see if you see this guy trying to if you want to buy a card from Petty Party and you see this guy in there buying it, man, push that auction a little bit higher. Make him pay a little bit more. Push him out of you know the business. This is shady and shitty, and you know we cannot support this kind of um, business practice. So, um, guys, I think a lot of you. Um, you know who watch this channel i know there's not really that many of you but a uh, high percentage of you i believe collect graded cards so please don't buy things from him or sellers like him you know let's not support this kind of um, business practice you know the, the card should go from collector to collector not some guy who's trying to kind of force value on this kind of stuff it's stupid it doesn't work and let's make him go out of business a little bit quicker so Anyways, guys, that's all I had for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, the person's name is Yu-Gi-Oh! Attic. So, if you see if you see us if you see something for sale from him that you want, don't buy it. Guess what? This mystical elf sold two day, four days ago for three hundred and forty dollars, and the guy's asking pretty close to double. So, there you go. Do your research. Stay away. Thanks for watching. See you next time.